So once you've finished your mix, you're going to want to make a stereo mix down. In Pro Tools there are two techniques. The first is internal mixing, which means we'll mix all the tracks to an internal track inside Pro Tools. And the second is an external bounce, which is through bounce to disk. So let's look at internal mix down. We'll go to the mix window and here you'll notice that all these tracks, these are all the tracks in my mix, and they're going to the mix bus, master one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select them and I'm going to send them all to an internal bus and that internal bus I'm going to send to an audio track and I'm going to record on that audio track. So let's find a free internal bus and that's 9 and 10 and now let's make a stereo a new stereo track so let's name the track we'll call it calling out which is the name of the track and we'll call it calling out master there we go and the mix bus so let's call that track mix okay and on this audio track we'll assign the track mix bus to this audio track. So now I just want to show you here we have these two little boxes. Now the top one means that a track is in record and the bottom one is whether this track is in auto input or input only. Now auto input is when it's grey and I'm going to hit Option K or Alt K if we're on PC, and this goes green, which means we're in input only. Input only means that the track that's in record ready will always be in input, which means that in this case it'll always look at this track mix bus. So if I play the track now, we hear the track. If I was to go Alt K again, now we're in auto input. When I hit play, we won't hear the song because this track here will be listening to the hard drive. So there you go, we don't hear anything. Now you can get to this switch through the menu. Track, input only monitoring, and if you click on it, go back to track, auto input monitoring. Now this means here, if I click on this, I will get auto input monitoring. So what it actually means is here I'm in input only, which is why this green square could be just a bit clearer. So let's go back to the edit window and start recording our mix. So once you've recorded your track, take it out of record and how are we going to get it out of Pro Tools? So I've selected the region now I'm just going to reduce the size of this window so you can see this menu so this menu here you go down export regions as files if I click on this I get a dialog box now I'm going to go out in wave stereo 24-bit 48k and here I can choose my destination so I'm going to make a folder and I call it master for CD and now I can export my region as a file quite simply and it's going to go into that directory that I just made and if I open up this file here, master for CD, here you see the master has been exported.